Yeah, so my name's Chris Wilson. I uh, sort of head up community volunteering aspect of student activities. Um, we're currently at the University of Bradford in Students' Union, which is where student activities is based. And the whole idea is about getting students into um, activities which will take what they're doing through the academic studies and turn it into something useful, which will help them obviously with, the, with their career development also with their personal skills development and um, enhance their CV, uh, that's sort of the general idea behind it. So this project, the Scrap Art Project, has been funded through something called our Cultural Fund and the idea is to make it possible for um, a kind of unusual eclectic mix of projects that can't be funded very easily through anything else. So the idea with this one in particular is Threefold. One is to enhance the um, message, the recycling message of the university, because we run a big ecoversity um, initiative around campus, and we want to get more recycling done. And one of the identified problems was that the bins that we have don't look very interesting. So what we've been able to do is get Jeff in, uh, who's our, our sort of scrap artist, a local scrap artist, and. He's uh, making these bins look much more interesting, which will hopefully attract people over to them and have, make them think about what they're actually doing with their rubbish. The second thing is to make the message really clear so you can see what's on the bins and what needs to go in there and make it as easy and as painless as possible. Third message is we've got students involved in this project. So we have days where schools and students and Jeff and myself kind of mix in to design other artwork pieces out of scrap. And once again, it's a bandwagon for getting this recycling message across. And you know, what harm does it do when we don't recycle? What happens to all our waste? What's the bigger picture? And just get people to be a bit more responsible about it, but particularly get young people to be a bit more responsible about waste and recycling. And also it's about giving students an opportunity to get to work with young people and gain teaching experience. This just gives them a kind of direct opportunity to do that. So we've got, the, they've got a piece of work that the kids are doing. Kids need help doing that piece of work. The students get involved. They get their teaching experience out of it. You know, everybody's a winner is the general idea. So yeah, those are the kind of main pieces about it. Okay, so this is another piece of work which has been going on. So I mentioned, um, before that we're doing trying to get young people involved as well with working with our students. This is an example of um, a group of, of socially excluded young people um, who are working with a, a really good project and the local to Bradford they came in did a session here and put together this totem pole along with a load of kind of Olympic themed pieces of, of scrap art. So all this stuff that you see is essentially stuff which people will be throwing out and the, what's happened with this since is it's been kind of exhibited in Student Central. We've collected a bit of feedback on it and we'll feed that back into the young people and then hopefully they'll get a bit of, you know, they'll feel that some of their messages that they want to get, get out through this work are actually getting out. Um, so it's taken a bit of a beating this because it's been out and about a bit but you can just see there's quite a range of even things like the faces represent, you know, how young people are feeling inside. Um, the types of issues that they might be dealing with and facing and it, once again it's just a really good kind of method of sort of getting conversations going having a common ground to sort of think about and it allows our students to actually work with these young people without having to necessarily have a skill area in this they just need to open up their imagination the creativity and they come out with something which is you know quite grand so uh, yeah another piece of uh, another set of, of projects that we're really pleased with yeah i'm just here because um i like to do things with young people and i thought that scrappy mill build workshops found it really interesting um, the university has its own scrap heap challenge where the students kind of make stuff into go-karts and things like that. And I just thought that um, you guys making stuff out of anything could be really interesting, could be a lot better than what we make. So I thought it would be a really fun day out, something really cool to do. This is a new project we're doing. Here's a, here's a, this is a part player. What I'm going to do with these two, these are, you remember Space Hoppers? Eh? There's a bounce around on them, didn't you, as a kid? 
you know, I'll jump about like that. <laughs> you remember? Because, so the idea for that is to, we're going to create two people out of it. So it's going to be a fun piece. And we're just going to, the idea is to put these two people anywhere in the university, really. It has to be practical as well as usable. And so, as you can see, here it says landfill. So anything that's landfill goes in here. So it gives you an idea what can go into landfill. Here, paper, tree is signifying that. And as you can see here, right, it's got a little sign on it. Yeah? Here on the other hand, we've got packaging plastic and metals. The students did this work. I did, you know, all I did is... Um, coordinate the work. This is Gary R. is a skilled engineer but loves to artwork too and uh, can you give us an idea why you came here? What, what was the reason you came here? A uh, difficult one is that Jeff. Uh, just a, a love of art and a love of sculpture um, and uh, yeah, just try to get involved in it in, in any shape, form or description. Uh, and here I am, involved in it. Uh, my name's Philip Heritage and I joined here today because I wanted to kind of get a bit of experience with young people, but I also wanted to learn a bit more about how you can make, you know, scrap into different kinds of art. See what the what the lengths of it are, you know, what you can get, what's the, the maximum limit you can get out of And like, you know, the kind of people that are interested in doing it and like to do this kind of thing. And I've had quite a good time today. I mean, I've learned a lot. I've, quite enjoyed seeing the aspects of things you can make with it and talking to the people who do it you know it's been quite a fun day so far so as you can see uh, these two gentlemen they both have different visions and different uh, focuses of why they want to do these things and I think as well as well as creating heart it also is very uh, most people find it therapeutic yeah therapeutic relaxing some people want to do it because they have a creative streak some people want to do it because they've never had a chance to do art and it gives them a, an opportunity within an institution like here at Bradford University to get involved and uh, the doors are open really so watch this space.